And I'm just trying to get some shading for the bottom of the nose. I feel like that would really help the character. I think there's an automatic way to get a better shader for your characters in Blender. I just haven't experimented with that just yet. I'm just going with the solid clothes for now and then just shading it where I think the shade would be for like the ambient occlusions and also areas where it would be darker. So if you imagine a character having a light on top of the head, there would be some shaded area under the head and under the nose and under the arms. That would be some manual way of doing it. I need to look into the automatic way though. That's why I'm selecting the bottom of the head with these faces so that I can fill it in. But this looks, I don't want to say it doesn't look good. The sharp edges isn't correct. You want it to be a little bit more rounded. That's why I manually did it with the paintbrush. Slightly brush it, undo if you need to. We already saved the texture. Try to get some sort of shading. If it doesn't look good, you can always delete it. I still think shading a 3D model is super difficult for me. There's just so many angles that you can do it as, and there's no real light source that I'm using at the moment. And also I'm gonna be bringing this into BuildBox so the light source can actually change depending on the angle of how I use the character. So that's why I stick to solid colors at the moment with no real shading. Of course, I'll experiment here and there with some shading, but they're most likely just going to be in some default positions of the character. Like under the arms, we would imagine there would be some shading here because when the arms come down, it should be darker. I'm just experimenting. Like I said, there's a bunch of ways to shade your character. And this is actually good practice for me, getting the shading right or even trying to figure out how I would do the shading. Because if I did it manually, how would it look? Will it look right? And then we'll have this video to compare to whenever I figure out how to automatically do it within Blender, which I haven't looked into just yet. I know you have to use some nodes to get the shading right, but that will be for another time when I'm not being occupied with narrating some of these videos. So this is how I decided to shade the armpits and the side of the arms and also the head. It makes sense. At least it does in my head. And we're pretty much done with texture painting. That was super smooth. Looks pretty good for character 3.6. Goggles the boy. 